Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printer Props. In today's video, we're gonna be working on this really cool resin printing oven design. I just love this thing. Well, everybody, welcome back. What we're gonna be doing today is putting together this oven for your resin prints. And I love this design. I have to say it is not my design. It is Sean Charlesworth design over on Tested. Uh, make sure you watch his videos, or all Tested videos, but I love his videos. He's just really got an amazing eye and I lust after his Ghostbusters kits and parts. Uh, someday they will be mine. I will get that mega kit and work on my Ghostbusters cosplay. I, I literally look at those, <laughs> those things an odd amount but uh they're beautiful <laughs> so look him up over on twitter look him up over on tested of course and his check out his etsy page all those links will be below so i saw this video i started getting into the sla printing and um i've got some videos coming up on the uh, elgu mars like everybody does i am loving that thing it is incredible you'll see some of the prints in this video actually so I needed something to cure these things and I know a lot of people use the paint cans and they use other things but I really like this design because well two things it had a um, easy to put stuff into it you know you're not sort of lowering things you're you're putting them into it it has a, a good volume and it just looks cool so let's go ahead and take a look at how I put this thing together Okay, so we have the UV lights, our aluminum or stainless steel bread box, and this pretty cool switch. First thing we do is drill a pilot hole so the larger hole will bore through. And then I put a little bit of electrical tape around the outside of it so that it doesn't cut into this cord and cause problems. Now, the outside is pretty thick in that area, so I'm really not too worried. Now, I go ahead and put the UV strip down, and, you know, I didn't bother... Uh, cutting and splicing. I wanted this to be a fairly quick project. I do wish I'd put that really a lot closer <laughs> These a lot closer together so I could have fit more in uh, And actually I could just peel them away at some point and really line this thing up, but What are you gonna do? It still has a lot of coverage and I have not had a problem yet So I snip off the end and you can see this is just on the lid and then we're gonna go ahead and put some double-sided velcro or not double-sided velcro velcro on the timer and mount it and put the plug in and it really at this point is done uh i was like wow that was really fast and then of course we plug it in of course you need to use just like a standard extension cord type plug for this to work and then we can open it up and we can drop in the sheets now you don't have to buy these but uh they're really nice to be able to load your prints in and out you set your timer, and that's the great thing about this timer. Set it for 30 minutes, it's on for 30 minutes. As you can see, there's a lot of coverage because the inside is so chrome and it just shines. I haven't had a problem with any prints, top or bottom. Uh, I really love this design. Lots of space and really easy access. All right, well, that was Sean's design for a resin printing oven. Again, I love this thing, the ease of use of it. I love the timer because I forget to turn things off all the time. Ask my wife. All the time. So I hit 30 minutes, it turns off in 30 minutes. An hour, it turns off in an hour. I love the thing. Uh, I'm not having any problem with uh, the bottom not having any uh, UV. If you wanted to, you could do some splicing. I didn't feel like it. Uh, but the reflection has been more than enough. Uh, I have not had a problem with it. So again, check out this design. The links to all the parts uh, are below. It's a little bit more than the paint can uh, deal, but uh, I, I really like it. And I think it really makes for ease of putting prints in and out. Um, I dig it, <laughs> as you can tell. So go ahead, take a look at Sean's stuff. Take a look at uh, his Etsy stuff. Take a look at Tested. Um, Stay tuned for more videos on SLA printing because I am loving it. As you can see, some of those prints I've made, I've been working on finishing them and, and whatnot. You can also, I haven't stopped the regular printing because you can probably hear the CR10 uh, and some other ones printing in the background, some helmets I'm working on from Colonius. So I'm really excited about those. And uh, that's it. Uh, this was a fun one. I really liked it, short and sweet. I'm probably rambling, making it not as short, but hopefully as sweet. Um, if you liked the video, click like. 
check out the links below. They are affiliate links, and if you buy anything from them, they do help out the channel, and I appreciate it. Guys, have a nice day, night, whatever, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.